It's time for reinforcements. Prime. Welcome to me doing a reaction thing to uh, I'm a spider. So what today's episode uh, queer So uh, in today's episode, I'm sure we're about to continue the fight with the spider and that dragon that she's trying to fight the emerald dragon uh, Now I feel like the disappointing part that's going to happen now in the show is because now we know that the spider that we've been watching eventually becomes his like demon lord We kind of lose the urgency any fear any whatever's of what she's going through she's going to end up defeating this emerald dragon and what fun is there going to be had if now we know the outcome you know now we know that she's always going to win she's going to kill everything in this freaking dungeon um we already know what she eventually becomes and up until we see her fight some humans and then she cocoons and then yeah yeah whatever whatever whatever's how long are we going to spend all this time getting to that point where it's like you, you already kind of teased it how much time are you going to stall you know um it's kind of like makes everything else just seem so pointless it's it's an interesting take of having a narrative from the past the middle and the future you know i've seen other tv shows in in that same sentiment like i love this tv show called lost uh, but I mean that's a little bit different. That's a show grounded on reality and unreality in a way. Uh, people stranded in an island or whatever. You know, it's, it's a really good show. But it's a show about a spider who's getting strong. You know what I'm saying? Oh, sorry. Let's just do the thing. All right. So here we are. Crazy ass dragon versus this tiny little ass. Spider, why? I guess this is probably gonna bump her up really good. It's like when you fight something that's so really strong and you level up like five levels. <laughs> I feel like this is what's going to happen. Whoa. <laughs> Annihilating evil eye. Damn. Let's see, like... Have we even established the fact that this spider has enough speed? Like, come on now. I don't even know who to root for anymore. <laughs> There's no way she's going to be able to capture that thing in her web. What? Oh, well, never mind. Oh, 
Holy shit. Wait, what? He leveled up? Holy shit! What the fuck? No, he did that all over, all over that little spider. Damn. Alright, you just met uh not only a rival, but we stepped your game up. <laughs> Call him a big cheater. <laughs> Whoa. Good, good. <laughs> oh my god. Can you imagine fighting a boss and he starts freaking making <laughs> making new skills as he goes? Unfair. Oh. Damn. Well, the last thing she wanted to go is go down the dungeon. I thought she wanted to leave it. Damn. Not letting her breathe. Oh. She just got impaled. Annihiling evil eye. Holy shit. She's not ready. Damn. I don't even know how she survived the fire. He caught her! How is she not dead? No. He had no health. <laughs> but whatever. Don't worry, that's it. He's dead anyway.
He's dead anyway. I don't know how he'll be dead, but he's dead. Huh? I don't want, I don't even know what she just did. Oh. Damn, interesting. Wait, what the hell is that? Yeah. What? You should beg for your life? What the fuck? How can you give up a life? Are you kidding me? What the hell just happened? So she did grow up four levels. Oh, she just... Okay. Uh-huh. Gotcha. Oh. Oh, look. The other kids. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's the dragon. Right, right, right. Uh, did it hatch yet? Oh, right there. She's going to beat the... Oh! We're catching up.
<laughs> you know what? <laughs> you know what? Um, okay, I see. I see what the show's doing. It's catching up to the little flashback that we saw a few episodes ago. But in that flashback, they made it seem like the spider was so evil looking and whatever. And and, and I was like, nah, that can't, that can't be the same spider we've been like watching. It can't be her, cause she's cute and stuff. It can't be her, <laughs> but it is her. Wow, today's episode was really tough. I really liked it, even though I was walking in, not necessarily feeling like I was going to like it because um, everything felt kind of redundant, but now I feel like everything is coming full circle. Um, but I feel like the show's going to start losing its identity sooner or later when we stop following the spider in the cave, you know, because then the show's gonna become something else with the demon, you know, she becomes a demon lord and, and all that good stuff, and and that's more like end game level for the show. How how many times, like how much, how many episodes are we gonna spend with her in that form or that reality? Like I hope, I, I just want to get there already, you know. But I guess it's the journey that we take, you know? This show is very, extremely particular, so high praise. I don't understand why, like, the show emphasized so much emotion with the spider killing the dragon, but I guess I can just take it as she only did that because she, she doesn't want to die. So she values her life, so she looks at it as... Damn, motherfucker, you do something about your life. Like, yo, you have one chance. You know? Um, <laughs> I don't know, baby. I don't know. But could there also be more to that Earth Dragon looking at her during its death and be like, all right, you won. That's it. Gotcha. I'll get you next time. You know, like, like what the demon queen was talking about like yo uh what if the dragon was one of the warriors which is like the other reincarnated kids um i don't know i don't know there's only one other character that's a dragon type person thing maybe that's an intertwine of these two characters uh colliding so i guess we'll have to wait and see all right that about wraps up my video thanks so much for watching god bless you and i'll see you soon bye, -bye.